heart the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, for forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom thy incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
we have come into the presence of the Lord. And today, as we spend this hour with the Lord on the first Friday of the month of September, if you have started your devotion to the Sacred Heart on first of first Friday of January, today you complete nine first Fridays. And that is one of those great promises that Saint Margaret Mary received. Nine first Fridays of the month. If you spend one hour before the Blessed Lord, you are fulfilling and you are going to receive a fulfillment because Jesus through the devotion to the Sacred Heart promises this. And today you may be online and I want you to experience his presence inside you as we have exposed him here on the altar. Experience that he is coming to you experience that he is inside you now feel that he is around you feel that you can really visualize that the lord is here with us the lord wants each one of us to be fully aware that he is a God everywhere. Fully aware that when you call upon him, he comes into you. When you praise and worship him, he is dead. And he wants to be in reality inside you. Even though you don't have the blessed sacrament right in front of you now. But now we know that the Lord has given us this great blessing that we may receive His presence into our life, His very presence. And if we still don't feel it, praise and worship Him, glorify Him, and I'm sure you will experience His presence. As we sing this hymn, with my hands lifted up, with my mouth filled with praise, I will bless thee, O Lord. Please take hymn number 835. 835. Let us praise and worship Him. Not only just lifting up our hands, not only lifting up our lives, but our entire self. And if you are there with your family, experience that feel that you are filled with his presence with my hands lifted up
will bless the Lord. We will bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior. You are my God. You are my everything. You are my refuge. You are my strength. Hallelujah. May the friends, with our hearts filled with praise, we thank Him, we praise Him, we worship Him, we adore Him. Why? Because He has done something or maybe great things in our lives. For some of you, maybe something. For many of you, great things. You have the privilege of being in front of Him. You have the privilege of spending one hour with Him. You have the privilege of worshipping and adoring Him. Very few are called. As the psalmist said, one day in your court is millions of days elsewhere. One hour in front of Him. Is millions of hours counted elsewhere. We must have spent so much of time elsewhere. But today, I am spending, you are spending this hour. It's great to spend that one hour in the presence of the Lord. That is why it means that I am ready to give up few of the things that are necessary for me during this time at this hour I place some time for the Lord set apart one hour for the Lord to be glorified and praised and as the psalmist says my mouth fills with praise my heart also fills with praise with thanksgiving you come we often come with a big list of needs that we have. We often come with all that, what we want to ask. Today I'm going to ask you, Lord, this. Today I'm going to seek for this. But let us first praise and worship Him. He knows your needs. Put aside those needs. Put aside those lists of yours. Put aside all that is necessary for you. But rather, this is the time where you praise and worship Him. This is the time where you come and glorify Him. You have to tell, Lord, this is my life. My life is in your hands. My life cannot go anywhere else. I know this world is attractive. I know the world fills me with so much of pleasures, so much of desires. But still I want to spend this hour to tell, my life is this. Even though with all my weaknesses I come before you and I want to spend this hour with you. And I want to do this for you. Yes, my dear friend, that is your heart's desire. And the same heart's desire is to come and worship Him and adore Him. As we sing the same, my life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. Please and I worship you. Please take hymn number 797, 797.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us all stand and sing this hymn. Stand and sing with your voices. As a family, you are there at home. Stand with your family, hold each other's hands and say, My life is in you, Dad. My life is in you, Mom. My life is in you, my children. My son, my daughter, my life is in you. I'll praise you. I worship you. I adore you. All together. my dear friends as I will take you to a little message that Paul wants to give you 
These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. Paul very clearly tells, the things that I am speaking is what the Holy Spirit has revealed. What is revealing? The Holy Spirit reveals certain things suddenly to you. How can that happen? It is because you call upon the Spirit, you praise and worship, you suddenly thank the Lord and then you feel that there is something happening in me. There is a message. There is a message that Lord is giving you and that is a revelation. That is that revelation. Therefore you and I come before the Lord. Lord, tell me. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. For the Spirit searches everything. Even, if the Spirit searches even the depths of God. Now when I know the Spirit of God is in me, my spirit that is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit comes in to the depth of God. And therefore I realize, oh God is this. God is omnipotent. God is omniscient. God is everywhere. God is inside me. God can do this. God can do that for you. God can protect you. Therefore you see, we go into the depth of God only when I am with that spirit. Now he further says, for what human beings know, what is truly human except the human spirit that is within. So we have that human spirit as well. This human spirit will only reveal what is, in you, what is human in me and it will tell things about myself. This same human spirit in me will tell also you you are so and so, you are so loving person, or you are so bad person. That is the human flesh. Therefore, that spirit speaks within. So also, in one of the comparison way, God gives us that spirit. Now, he says very clearly in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, he says, Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. Now it is very clear that sometimes we don't realize that God is doing this for us. But if you have the spirit of God filled inside you, you will realize, yes, this gift is not his or hers because of him or her hair. It is because of my God. I, who I believe in him. Therefore, what he bestows, I can understand. And we speak of these things in the words not taught by human wisdom, but by the wisdom of the Spirit interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are spiritual means if you want to become holy, if you want to really become spiritual, the Holy Spirit comes into you automatically. The Holy Spirit will enlighten you. The Holy Spirit will teach you. The Holy Spirit will reveal to you. But if you are an unspiritual person, verse 14 says, do not receive the gifts of God. They do not receive the gifts of God. For they are foolish and foolishness to themselves. And they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. In other words, those who are spiritually concerned of the Spirit of God, they will experience the great gift of God's wisdom. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is how we have to look at God who is here with us. And it is very clear, my dear friend, don't think that this is the you know, Holy Spirit coming because I sang songs of the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit comes into you to enlighten you, to empower you, that He may reveal the depths of God. Even in spite of all this, I'm still 
lack of understanding about God. What God is, how can he function, where? And we need the spirit every moment of our lives. That is why, my dear friends, we ask the Lord to fill us that we may be lifted up and we may experience his love as we sing this hymn, Lord, the light of our love. Lord, the light of your love. Please take him number 58. In number? 58. seen the reflection I'm able to see Jesus in you shine Jesus shine am I able to see that shining Jesus in you or I come I attend mass enough I receive the communion will Jesus shine in your life no my dear friend there are so many things that should happen in you you have to become humble you have to know what you are made of. You have to see why I am behaving like this. You have to know if that person is so great, why can't I be? That is not important. Is that Jesus shining in you? We are caught up with jealousy. 
we are caught up with pride we are caught up with anger we are caught up with intolerance therefore jesus is not shining in us jesus has to shine my dear friends in you don't think just fulfilling an obligation you can receive that shining jesus in you no the holy spirit that is there the spirit of god that is inside you which makes you know the depth of god is that which makes you shine is that which makes you reflect christ am i a reflector of christ is what i have to see the second important aspect that we see is paul telling the people in corinth especially when they want to be divided you know part of the aspect in human nature is when there are two people it's fine when there are three people there will always come in division that's human human as we are we like to divide ourselves therefore paul said brothers and sisters i could not speak to you spiritual people but rather as people of flesh why does he say i wanted to speak to you as spiritual people and every time i come i expose the blessed sacrament i want to speak to you because i consider you as a spiritual person but when i see that you are not able to bring jesus out of your life in your life through your life then i know that you are only flesh that is what you want to tell us that i thought i'm speaking to spiritual people but rather people of flesh that is terrible for us a people of flesh means we are too attached to the world and we will always say there's no depth in us of god if there is no depth in you you will do anything against god's love you will do anything against the structure of the church you will do anything against the sacraments that are given to you suddenly you say i want to divorce suddenly you say i want to get out of the house this is because i am of the flesh but here paul says i fed you because i am filled with the holy spirit i fed you with milk and food therefore he said i fed you with milk not solid food for you were not ready for solid food even now i am still ready for you still are in flesh don't think you have become mature in christ no i am still not mature in christ my dear brothers and sisters i am getting mature day after day and he is the one who is maturing me that is what you and i should do and learn it's not important that i become great no i become matured in his love matured in his presence in my life that is the greatest gift and therefore paul said i gave you milk i could not give you solid because it won't you won't be able to digest but now i know i can leave you with these thoughts so that you start maturing i can't mature you my dear friends i can't mature someone a human being if i tell the lord lord send your spirit so that i want to know the depths of your truth i get mature i learn the truth what am i supposed to do at that time when paul says very clearly he says don't quarrel don't behave like people of the flesh don't also say i belong to paul don't also say i belong to Alok, uh, apollos no you say i belong to god i belong to jesus i don't take pride in that but i want you to belong to jesus because you are a person belonging to the spirit of god that's why he said well i only planted the faith in you others have poured water and you are maturing this is what you and i will go through every day somebody plants the faith in us somebody waters that faith and 
we get matured in God. Only if we are able to be open to the spirit of God, not the spirit of the flesh. This spirit of the flesh is full of pleasure. This spirit of the flesh is full of desires. And it makes you happy just for a moment. But that inner happiness is not there. That is why I have to open my heart and tell Lord, come into my life. Sing the same. Dilka Darwaza Kulawa Amare Yesu Prabhu. We will ask the Lord to fill us with His love. And let us open our hearts and tell the Lord, Lord, I want you into my heart. I want that heart of flesh, uh, heart of the spirit. And then I know I can get it. Please take in number 1008. Hymn number? 1008. Thank you. 1008. 1008. <laughs> Amare dil me aao prabhu Koi tujh ka rekha na kahi Sach me isu Dil ka narwaza khula hua Amare dil me aao prabhu Koi tujh ka rekha na kahi Sach me موسیقی موسیقی If you acknowledge God is true, then don't deceive yourself. Paul says that in the same third chapter, verse 18, he says, Do not deceive yourselves if you think that you are wise in this age. You should become, you should become fools so that you may become wise. Fools for whom? For this God. I have to do so many things for him, I become a fool. But I become wise. That is why he say I become fool so that we may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolish, foolishness with God. 
the wisdom of this world. Look at the wisdom of the world. Numerous wisdom. But in the eyes of God, this wisdom is foolishness. For God has written very clearly that He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are fertile. So that no one boasts about human leaders, for all the things are yours. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world of life or life of death, present and future, all belongs to God. And you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. This is how he visualizes that each one of us should experience the wisdom of God. That is why, you see, Solomon in all his simplicity said, if I can get your wisdom, that is enough. Ask for anything. And Solomon asked only for the wisdom of God. If you are given one opportunity by God, Jesus comes and said, What do you want? Tell me, I will give it to you. What will you ask? There will be so many things running in your mind. There are so many priorities that are there in your mind. There are so many desires that you have to fulfill and have to accomplish that runs in your mind. And if Jesus says, ask for whatever you want, don't worry, whatever you want, ask. It's at that time, be wise to ask and say, Lord, give me that Holy Spirit. And if you get that Holy Spirit, there is everything in your life. Let it be all your pleasures, let it be all your desires, those accomplishments, those promotions, all that you want will happen if you only ask for the wisdom of God, that is the Holy Spirit today. I need the Holy Spirit every day. Get up in the morning and say, God, I must do this, I must do that, I must... That's all in the mind. Don't worry about it, it's all set there in your mind. But for that you say, Lord, give me that Holy Spirit today that I may complete all these tasks. And you won't believe, my dear brothers and sisters, that he is there to do that for us because we see this in the ministry of the apostles in chapter 4 of 1 Corinthians. Think of us in this way, as servants of Christ. Today's first reading, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required as stewards of God that they be found trustworthy. But with me, it is very small thing I should be to judge by you or by any human code. I do not even judge myself. I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. Therefore, he said, do not pronounce judgment. And that is why he said, then each one of you will receive what God desires. If you don't do that, you will receive condemnation. Do you want condemnation or do you want the power of God in you? You must ask for the power of God, the Holy Spirit. There will be obstacles, my dear friends, when I speak to you so plainly. There will be obstacles. It's not so easy. But when you strive, when you struggle, when you move, it will happen. You just sit there and say, it is not possible, it is not possible. It will be never, ever be possible for you. But there will be ups and downs. You sing the same, Raho me kate agar ho. Rukna nahi chalte jana. Yesu tere saath hai. Oh, 
consecration prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Four twenty-six. 
423 in your hymn books it's on page number 423 act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus let us all together pray O adorable heart of Jesus the tenderest and the most amiable the most generous of all hearts venerated with gratitude at the sight of thy benefits i come to consecrate myself wholly and entirely to thee I wish to devote all my energies by propagating thy worship and winning if possible all hearts to thee. Receive my heart this day, O oh Jesus, or rather take it, change it, purify it, to render it worthy of thee. Make it humble, gentle by inflaming it with the fire of thy love. Hide it in thy divine heart with all the hearts of that love. and I'll consecrate it to thee never permit me to take my heart from thee again let me rather die than breathe thy adorable heart thou knowest the heart of jesus that the desire of my heart is to love thee always to be holy thine in life and in death in time and in eternity most sacred heart of jesus have mercy on us Sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Jesus, make an humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Let us kneel and receive his benediction. Place ourselves into his hands. As you receive the benediction, pray for yourself. Pray that God, the power of God, come upon you and fill you with his spirit. that the spirit of god protects you from all dangers and most especially from this dreaded corona virus it's spreading fast it's spreading everywhere but if you and i have the spirit of god in us we trust in him that we will be protected ask the lord to fill you with that love fill you with that spirit ask only for the spirit now the holy spirit to come upon you the spirit of god to fill your life and everything else will follow down in adoration we sing
Please be seated. This mass is offered for the following intentions. Thanksgiving to the sacred heart of Jesus offered by Isaac and family for healing and deliverance for Raini, Raju, and Janelu, Shekantulam, offered by Isaac and family. Thanksgiving to Our Lady of Good Health by Carmel and Albert Fernandez and family. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by John Bosco and family. For Soul of Bernandi, offered by Ali Khan and family. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Paul Matthew and family. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Regina, Shanti Paul and family. Thanksgiving to Our Lady of Good Health for special intentions of Alice and Nicholas. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Vimala, Joseph and family. For late MS Rao and Vacancy of Sandeep offered by Ravi Shankar and family. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart Jesus for all the blessings. Thanksgiving to our Lady of Good Health for recovery, speed recovery of COVID-19 of Benny Francis offered by Neil and Fernan. Thanksgiving to Infant Jesus by of, for recovery of COVID-19 of Benny Francis by Neil Francis. Soul of, for Soul of Kenneth Francis offered by Play members. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus for all favors received by Halsey Torture. Thanksgiving to Divine Mercy offered by Mona Lisa for all the favors. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus for special intention of Dominic Moon family with Vita and all Blue Heaven members. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart of Jesus offered by Mrs. Ali Khan and family. For soul in for, for all souls in purgatory offered by Mrs. Ali Khan and family. Please stand. We begin this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit 
be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, every Eucharist, Christ comes to us in the form of Eucharist. In today's first reading, St. Paul tells, We are the servants and stewards of Jesus, God. And second point he tells, we are we are not we are unworthy to judge others we have no authority to judge others only god has the authority to judge for our deeds for our actions and for all the sinful actions and today as we gather around this holy altar let us remember all our sins and acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery I confess to Almighty God, to my brothers and sisters, when I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have said to me, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most great thought. Therefore, I ask this Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. All things were created through him and for him. A reading from the letter of Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 20. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Psalm and your response, come before the Lord singing for joy. Please repeat, before the Lord, before the Lord singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Your response? Come before the Lord singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Your response? Come before the Lord singing for joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Your response, come before the Lord singing for joy. 
Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Your response? Come before the Lord singing for joy. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Raise him on the country and shall be it all. Raise him on the people and the dark. Raise him with strange instruments too. Raise him on the loud symbol. Raise him on the loud symbol. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 to 39. At that time, the Pharisees and the scribes said to Jesus, the disciples of John fast often and offer prayers, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees, but ye was eat and drink. And Jesus said to them, Can you make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. He also told them in parable, No one tears a piece from a new garment and put it on an old garment. If he does, he will tear the new. And the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old, skin, old wine skins. If it does, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wine skins, and no one after drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the world is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel, the scribes and Pharisees rebuke Christ because his disciples did not fast. Here we need to ask ourselves. Why do we fast? Why do we fast? We fast because in order to purify ourselves and in order to bring ourselves close to God. And same thing, today we find when the Pharisees and scribes ask the disciples of Jesus why, did not, why they are not following the fasting, because disciples are with Christ, with Jesus, in the presence of God. And when they are presence of God, they need not to fast. Moreover, they can feast. And here we need to ask one more question to ourselves. How does the Lord come to us? How does the Lord come to us? There are three ways, there are three ways 
First, the Lord comes to us when we pray. When we pray, the Lord comes to us. That's why we read the scripture Jeremiah 20, chapter 29 verses 12. When you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Every prayer must be a feast and encounter with a loving God who belongs right here in our hearts. The Lord comes to us when we pray. We have ample of time during this lockdown. We have much time to pray. And we, when we pray, we not only pray for ourselves, but those who ask our prayers, those who are sick, we can pray for all those people. And by praying, we can be close to Christ. We can be close to Jesus. And second, the Lord comes to us through people. Through people. We read Jeremiah chapter 30 verses 22. You will be my people and I will be your God. The person seated next to you is created in the image and likeness of God. And when we look at others, we must be we must be more happy and we must pray for them because they are created in likeness uh, in likeness of God, in the image of God. Moreover, when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we admire by looking at ourselves, our beauty. And some of them will not like their own body and they will compare themselves with others like with movie heroes and but we are created and when we look at people in in the sense of that God has created them in likeness when we when we give their own dignity to them the God will really comes to us and like that we can be close to God. The third point, the Lord comes to us in the poor, in the poor. Every time we see the poor, we must celebrate, we must put our best because the scripture says, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. God will reward them for what they have done. And sometimes we, when we uh, provide dinner or lunch to the poor and we calculate our budget. But whereas when the VIPs or special guests comes, we generously give. But the scripture says, when we when you are kind to the poor it is giving to god and god will give or reward you and all these three things when we have all this prayer people and poor all this p the letter p three three p people prayer and poor when all these qualities is with us or with us we can be more close to Christ and we can be make a merry or make a feast, a real feast and we can enjoy the feast and we no need to fast. And finally, Jesus tells us that we must have more, more elastic and open mind and larger hearts to understand and follow his new ideas which are in many cases different from the traditional Jewish teachings. Yes, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us take a great resolution and ask God to grant all these, all these graces. May God bless each one of us. Amen. Please take him number two.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of devotion. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by raising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blessed as our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sin, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. the memorial of the death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have hold us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity Together with Francis our Pope and Tumabala Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may make to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours. Forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we day to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body, body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Please take the number 363, 363.
as we have received the body of Christ together we say my Jesus I believe that that is the most holy sacrament I love you about all things and it is nice to receive you in my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I am ready to die before all the day and unite myself fully to you never promise me to be separated from you Amen Let us pray Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table we beseech you Lord that being the food of charity it may confirm our hearts and serve us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. go for the masses in me thanks be to god we take the number 494 494